going to do the fighter ratings today. We're going to rate them 1 out of 10. So. Right, tonight, uh, React Paul, Bill and Smith. Yeah. I always thought React Paul was going to have it. And he did. So, yeah, I think you give him an 8 out of 10 again. He did, a, he did a good job. He won the fight. What else can you say? He's won the fight. Uh, then what was the next one? Chizora, uh, 10 out of 10. As in, you can't do much better than banging someone out in the second round. Yeah, the second round. So, oh yeah, I give him a 10 out of 10 for that because they can't, you can't do a lot better. And what I thought was weird about that fight, Chizora is obviously the better fighter than yeah, either of them. So, it's weird that he's fighting. Last two fights as well, he's fought lower in the card than Alan. So, it's difficult for Chizora as in where he goes from now. I feel like he needs to fight popular British fighters to get like British people's radar, radar yeah. Yeah. and then and then he can go for the bigger fights because maybe he's doing better under David Hay, but I feel like Hay came to him a bit late. Yeah, it should have came a bit more earlier during yeah. his career. Yeah, definitely. And then what was next? So then, then it went Dave Allen, Dave Price, and I was back in Dave Allen personally, but as in. Obviously, I'm not a boxing trainer or anything. Like, I might not know shit, but I don't think Dave Allen fought the fight as I would have told him to fight. Yeah, I think I was he. His trainer. I think he was able to win that fight. Everybody was um, going. Hundred percent, he was able to win that fight. As in, everyone knows that David Price has got a questionable chin. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. I don't think that Dave Allen exploited that enough. As in, there are a couple points. So he kept. Jump, he kept doing this weird thing where he'd go one step back, one step forward, <laughs> one step back, one step forward. And every time he came on a step forward, mm -hmm. Dave Price would throw the jab. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Mm -hmm. And I kept thinking, when he throws the jab, if you duck it and throw the right hand, when he's got his left hand out on the jab, the overhand right, you'll catch him. And Dave Allen's overhand right, we've seen in the past, has had a lot of people troubled. So I kept view, when you take that first step forward, as soon as he took the step forward, yeah. throw the overhand right, I kept thinking, I think you'll catch him. And I was actually really, really surprised. I heard that he went to hospital. Yeah, I've seen him um, on the ring, so he was on the floor. I don't know if something happened to him. Yeah. So Because I know that I saw on uh, BBC Sport afterwards, so I checked to see like what happened. Cause I just saw the, the towel come in, and I was a bit confused, because it seemed like it was a normal fight before that. But apparently he's gone to hospital, so like, obviously I hope he makes a full recovery yeah. and, and gets back to a bit of boxing. And, yeah, that was, yes. may, maybe something happened that we didn't see, but yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't what I expected from the fight. Yeah, I expected more because uh, he, built, uh, he beat Lucas Brown exactly. by uh, I think TKO. Into his box, I feel like maybe Dave Price was a bit of a step up, especially in terms of size. Mm -hmm. Because that, he was a lot, he was the smaller guy by far, so he was having to get on the inside. Which, so he was having to show more skill as a boxer, even though Dave Price had the more experience. What's Campbell fight? Campbell fighting. Uh, uh, Lomachenko. Campbell's fighting Lomachenko next. They announced it tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, what do you think of that? Yeah, uh, I think Lomachenko will, will beat Campbell. Like if Campbell. He should do, yeah. Because uh, Lomachenko. Um, for example, he fought Rigondeaux, one of the best fighters. Rigondeaux's got about 386 amateur fights and a couple of, like, two, three losses, you know. Uh, I think yeah. I gave Campbell a chance. He lost, he has two losses on his record. Um, Lomachenko has uh, one yeah. loss uh, on his record. He, he, uh, yeah. Um, so I give, for me, um, in the early rounds, I gave Campbell uh, a couple of rounds in the early rounds. Later on, I think Lomachenko will come in and... Um, just see, uh, like see an opening and probably KO or TKO. Uh, when, I, when I saw, uh, the last, uh, I, saw I watched um, Lomachenko against Krola yeah. in his last fight and I was like, I wasn't backing Krola because I knew what a, what a weapon that Lomachenko was. Yeah. But I was sort of thinking, if you do this, you can get it. If you do this, you can get it. And then I realized when they got into the fight and I watched it and I was like, on the day, yeah. I couldn't see a way that Krola could possibly win. As in Lomachenko seemed to cover every base. Everything, he was yeah. all over him. Jab he was the, body, the perfect uh, fighter. Yeah. So 
from this point, I have like ultimate respect for Lomachenko. I can't see him losing to anyone because it's Crawford to go down on, in weight and Lomachenko to come slightly up, maybe fight at like just like the weight under welterweight. The thing is, it, it can be uh, 140 so you can uh, move up. Uh, up the weight division. Yeah. So up to I think if they fight a lightweight, yeah. Crawford Lomachenko, not only would that earn a shitload of money, yeah. but that would also be a great fight. Because stylistically they're very different as well. Lomachenko loves to sit behind the jab, whereas Terence Crawford loves to get involved. So I think that would be a great fight. Yeah. But we were about to move on to the main event. Yeah. Uh, Dylan um, White and um, Rivas. White Rivas. It's a difficult one. Because I'm a I'm a big white fan, as in I want him to knock out Wilder, Joshua. I don't know about Fury because I'm I'm a big fan of both. So I'd like to see the fight, maybe. But I feel like Fury's like an awkward kind of fighter where I feel like he can keep everyone at bay. But in terms of white tonight, I enjoyed the fight, but I'm. In, ter in terms of what the judges scored, I'm not completely convinced. Yeah, for As me, in, one of the judges scored, I think, 116, 111. I'm That's not completely convinced by those scores because I said to my mate, just as the fight ended, I said to him, I would give it to White purely on the fact that he's the home fighter, and that was it. As in, it was that close that I would give it to him on the fact that he was the home fighter. Yeah, I know a lot fighter. of judges uh -huh. bear that in mind. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think the scorecards were a bit wide for me personally watching it up close because I didn't see any round that White dominated, but then obviously Rivas knocked him down. And I said to my mate, he's got to knock him down to, to get the result. And then when he didn't knock him down, but I think he did have the upper hand in the last couple of rounds, maybe not the last one, but two before that. And then I was like, yeah, I don't really know what's going to happen, but I hope they give the benefit of the doubt to the home fighter. Yeah. And I'm glad they did, because I've seen enough fights of British fighters going abroad and getting oh, yeah, fucked over right. by yeah, the judges. That's right. so, so it could be similar to... I feel like White yeah. deserved it tonight. Yeah, he, he should, and yeah. I'm happy he got it tonight, because yeah. if right now Rivas was a heavyweight contender and going for the title, yeah. I wouldn't give a shit. Mm. But the fact that... White's a heavyweight contender now, he's got the interim title, that's all that matters. He didn't have to take this fight if he didn't want to. This is a more difficult fight yeah, than he had to it, take. Yeah, I think he'll take one more fight, but I'm hoping it'll be against like Michael Hunter, Michael Trevor Hunter. Bryant, someone yeah, some, some who's like come fighter. up from cruiserweight, mm -hmm. been about for a bit, been like just come into the heavyweight scene. Yeah doesn't know what they're really about. I feel like you can bang them out on the American stage, get the American fighters involved, or American fight fans, sorry, involved. Yeah, American, yeah. And then he bangs out Deontay Wilder. Mm -hmm. Well, that fight, I think, will be a good fight because they both, they both love a knockout. Yeah. They both don't, they don't hold back too much. Yeah, yeah. So I think that'd be a great fight. I'd love to see White and uh, Deontay Wilder. Wilder. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm hoping, but obviously that can't happen logistically till yeah. April, April, May, May next year. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to win uh, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder? Um, okay, so, uh, so on the rematch, Tyson Fury, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who do you think is going to win uh, yeah, on the rematch? Okay, so in the first fight, yeah. obviously I wanted Tyson to win. Because yeah. I'm a big back of Tyson Fury. Mm -hmm. But, so on any other day of the week, mm -hmm. I would have said Tyson Fury wins that fight. But the fact that he was coming back from a three-year layoff yeah. and he ballooned up like yeah, eight three, stone eight and stone. came back, yeah. whatever. I don't even know how much it was. I think it was probably more. He got know. really fat and <laughs> yeah. came back from that. And you know when you see any other fighter do that? Like, not even get fat, but retire and come back. Yeah, yeah. Ricky Hatton, David Hay, like any of them. Yeah. When, they, when they go away and come back, it doesn't work. Yeah. So that was my only concern. I was thinking, on any other day, Fury's style, you know how they say styles make fights. Fury's style is a nightmare for Deontay Wilder. Yeah. And but on that day I was thinking, does his style work? Because his style is so quick. Yeah. Dip out, in, out, in, move, 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 all of that. And so I was thinking, does that work? And I was thinking, no to me. I the whole fight, I, obviously I wanted Tyson to win, but I was so nervous. 
because I thought he was going to get banged out. And in the 12th round, when he did get dropped and he got back up, I was like, holy shit. And then even then, I was like, he's done enough to win the fight at this point. He's won every round apart from Pleasure. Guys, I want to see him off. Every round apart from that, I thought he won, it's his fight. But Joshua here actually said to me he hasn't won it because I guess Josh is like a more experienced fight with your fan. He understands that judges can be. And I bet Fury might think that as well because Fury is like a boxing historian, so he might know that. Yeah. But next fight, next fight, I'm still back in Fury. Yeah, I'm back in Fury as well. Because I don't think Wilder has the has the sort of presence to think, right, I've got to do this, I've got to do, I've got to back here, I've got to, I've got a dip here, I've got a left hook here. I don't think he has 